impact shooter based on the Unreal Engine 3. The game features a wide range of game modes, tons of maps and a huge selection of weapons. The game comes with regular content updates including new maps, game modes, weapons and other improvements. It was number 10 skill, Special Force 2. Tactical Intervention is a free-to-play tactical FPS with unique mechanics. Drive, bomb, rappel and shoot your way through 11 high-octane levels. From the brilliant mind of Min Guzmanla, the co-creator of the seminal team-based FPS Counter-Strike, comes its spiritual successor, Tactical Intervention. Take your role as either terrorist or a counter-terrorist and confront opponents in fierce and frantic combat over a variety of high-energy maps wielding authentic real-world weapons, from the classic P90 to the terrorist favorite, the AK-47. It was number 9 Tactical Intervention. Critical Ops retains the same objective as Critical Strike Portable. To defeat the opposing team, Players can choose to be either counter-terrorists or terrorists. An initial buying intermission is given before a match starts and when it ends, players can start hunting down the enemy. Players are currently given two game modes to play on, defuse a scenario where the terrorists try to plant the C4. The counter-terrorists try to stop it. Death match, teams are assigned to contribute to their total kill count and raise it higher than the enemy until time runs out. It was number 8 Critical Ops. Take to the streets for intense close quarters combat, where a team's survival depends upon securing crucial strongholds and destroying enemy supply in this multiplayer in cooperative Source Engine based experience. The follow-up game to the award-winning Source mod, Insurgency is highly competitive and unforgivingly lethal, striking a balance between one-life gameplay and prolonged action. It was number 7 Insurgency free-to-play first-person shooter that features two mercenary corporations named The Blacklist and Global Risk, fighting each other in an epic global conflict. Players assume the role of either a Blacklist or a Global Risk mercenary, joining an online team that must work together to complete objective-based scenarios. With the exception of the Zombie Mode and Wave Mode, each mode can support a maximum of 16 players, each divided into an 8-man team. It was number 6 Crossfire, MMO FPS that focuses on multiplayer gaming. Players will work together towards a common objective or fight each other through different scenarios. Only one person can play from a single computer at any time. Once you enter a game, you are thrust into a world of compelling action and fast-paced thinking. It was number 5 Combat Arms, fast-paced online first-person shooter which is very similar in terms of gameplay to Counter-Strike. It also features destructible and dynamic environments, as well as deeper character and skill customization options. In Point Blank, players join either the Free Rebels or CT Force team, the Free Rebels are based on the terrorists from Counter-Strike, while CT Force is based on the counter-terrorists. Each team attempts to complete their mission objective and or eliminate the opposing team, each round starts with the two teams spawning simultaneously, usually at opposite ends of the map from each other. It was number 4 Point Blank. Free online team shooter that will appeal to all fans of the genre. Select one of six playable classes with unique abilities, modify weapons and go into the midst of a battle. Online shooter with modern graphics original system of pumping weapons and realistic ballistics. Rapid battles take place in the interactive, well-balanced maps, which carry the players in different corners of the world, from the Amazon jungle to the cities of the Middle East. It was number 3 Phantomers. As players play and complete matches, they will earn experience points, warface dollars, and vendor points. How much is earned varies depending on the number of players in the lobby, in order to prevent or reduce potential boosting among players, how quickly the match is finished, and the amount of score and kills. 
War Face Dollars can be used to purchase certain weapons and items for the player's classes, while Vendor Points contribute toward unlocking new items for purchase in one of three categories, Weapons, Outfits, and Equipment. It was number 2 Warface. First-person shooter franchise developed by the renowned Ubisoft Montreal studio. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege invites players to master the art of destruction. Intense close quarters confrontations, high lethality, tactics, team play, and explosive action are at the center of the experience. The gameplay sets a new bar for intense firefights and expert strategy in the rich legacy of past Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six games. Thanks for watching us. To more top 5 and top 10 games be sure to subscribe to our channel. It was number 1 Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege.